Libra. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 8th of September. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. <clears throat> I'm using my teacup tarot and my Time to Shine Oracle cards. So starting off with your overall energy, we've got the Knight of Pencils. Now the Knights are all fast moving energy. They all have a motorbike. And in comes this Knight of Pencils flying in with the news saying choose with care. So something might be happening quite quickly this week that requires you to make a choice. And this card says look at all your options first. Don't be rushed into it. And on the card, look, she can either go on the main road or the bumpy track full of potholes. She needs to choose carefully and take time doing so. Your help or your hurdle. The Eight of Pencils says it's time to leave any negativity behind. And I know that's easier said than done. But look on the card. She's got this little red balloon full of negative thoughts and she's just about to pop that with a pin because she's got a new delivery from the self-belief company saying oh yes I can and that needs to be your mantra this week. What do you need to focus on? Balance. The four of coins says just keep things in balance and here she is trying to balance these little scales. So we are talking about work-life balance. We are talking about financial balance. We are talking about how much time do you give away, energy balance, and how much time do you take for yourself. So all those things just need considering this week. How can you help yourself? When you've done the considering and when you've let go of things you don't need anymore and you've got that lovely, oh yes I can attitude, the life experience card shows up and that's the time for you to make the positive changes. Now on the card, look, this little sand castle that she's made is washing away. But she's taken all the knowledge and all the wisdom, all the pearls of wisdom that she's learned from building that. And she's moving on and taking all that life experience with her. So this is the card of you making your positive changes. The Seven of Pencils comes in and says, this is time now to leave the old ways behind and focus on your needs and your plans. It's very easy to be moving forward in a direction that you think everybody else wants you to go in. This is a time for you to focus on you. And the Two of Teacups says, Talk it over. This is positive partnerships. It's positive outcomes to discussion. So talking it over can be very successful. So talking it over, listening, having a really clear understanding of the other person. That's the key to the success here. Clarity in communication. So we've got choices made carefully, talking things over keeping things in balance and letting go of the old, then making these positive changes and moving forward with more of a focus on you and what you would like to do. So let's get a little bit more clarification. The Eight of Life says, try something new. It's also the card that says, pay attention to the small details. So this is interesting that it's fallen under this choice card. So dot the I's, cross the T's, read the small print and then read it again. The zero of wisdom, this is lovely. We were talking about making positive changes here. This is you following your dreams, enjoying new opportunities. This card says you can do it. It's the dreamer card in traditional tarot taking that leap of faith, going after what it is that you would like. The four of thought says, take your time, make your decision carefully, consider the balance, the finances, the time element, talk things over again, 
and make your decision from a well thought out mindful place don't be rushed into anything the 21 of wisdom this is the world card you've got two big cards here both major arcana cards and this is celebrating a job well done it's completing something but it's the start of something new it's advancement it's success it's moving up to the next level the six of emotion is lovely now this is a card that asks you to consider what you've always wanted to do now we were talking about making decisions based on what we think other people want us to do and the fact that it's fallen under this your plans and your needs card is so significant because it says it's time to consider what you always wanted to do remember the past with love it might be somebody from the past coming in to talk about things it might be you reminiscing but look she's got the world at her fingertips she can be a chef an astronaut or go to university but one way or the other she's considering what she always wanted to do and moving forward with that and then we've got the Emperor card, number four of wisdom to finish off. This literally says, step up, show leadership qualities, get organised and make your plans. It's that simple. So looking at the cards overall, choosing carefully, looking at all the small details, focusing on your needs this time, talking things over. And just being mindful of balance, work-life balance, energy balance, financial balance. Leaving behind any old negativity or better still anybody else's negativity. Because it's time for you to make these positive changes. Focus on what you would like to do and then go after it. It's a time of finishing one project, finishing something and the start of something new, going after what you've always wanted to do and the emperor comes in at the end and he almost says, well, what are you waiting for? Get organised and get on with it. So that's absolutely lovely, Libra. So I hope you have a lovely week. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. All those things truly do support my channel. And I'm ever so grateful for that as well. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.